Welcome back. You are watching DXB today. Now, Amy's been busy exploring an art gallery in Dubai that showcases the latest in digital art, finding out why people are increasingly investing in digital assets. Let's find out more. NFTs have gained immense popularity recently, so we're going to get the scoop on how they can be purchased and just how valuable they can be. So let's take a look around 37X, where we're going to be educated on all things NFT and digital art. So joining me now is the founder of 37X, Danilo. Nice to meet you. And CEO, Clemence. Nice to meet you as well. So I've got to ask, what are the benefits of NFTs and have they got longevity? This is what everyone wants to know right now. <laughs> sure, sure. So it's a big question, I think, especially after the turbulent uh, one and a half uh, years or so. Um, so 37X is not an NFT gallery. However, it is a, a gallery that bridges art and technology and thus also traditional art and more advanced, um, you know, digital art. Can you give me advice on how one goes into investing in digital art? Great question. I think in general, like with any sort of investment, um, regardless what it is, it's important to first of all do your research, uh, especially I think in the space of uh, digital art and NFTs, which is still like a new field, actually diligence has to be even at a higher level. So people have to be careful, they have to do their homework. And of course, platforms like ours, I believe, also educate and help uh, collectors and investors to make the right choices and to educate themselves before they actually invest any hard money. So Clemence, this is the big question. Is NFT art just a trend or a fad? So we can start by discussing about digital art, which exists since uh, a while, since the 1960s. So it's not something new, but it's true that recently, the past two, three years, I would say, we had this big wave of NFT trend. So the NFT technology itself, we're using it here in 37X. Why? Because it gives us uh, traceability, um, transparency, and also these royalties, which pay the artist even during second sales, which is very important element also for, you know, for the artist to remain sustainable in their life. So I believe that the NFT will stay around. Uh, the digital art is going to be uh, an amplification of art itself. What is a baseline price if you're interested in purchasing? NFT or digital art? So the idea here is to have a very large price range because it is important for the people to have access to art. This is why we brought this project in Dubai because we believe it's very important to bring art and the beauty of it in the city. So we have, I would say, price range between 2,000 to half a million. <laughs> okay. So should I go and have a look for the most expensive piece that you have here? Okay. Clement, <laughs> I think that this is the most expensive piece in the gallery. This is a very good guess. Uh, it's actually the oldest one it's from Hans Artung from 1977. It's a German artist. But maybe I'm going to show you the one that's okay. the most expensive one, and it's actually in my office. Okay, let's go. Oh, I looked at this piece as well. <laughs> yeah, this is a stunning piece from uh, Andy Warhol from 1978, and it's from the Shadow series. So you can see here the connection between the light and the darkness. Incredible, beautiful piece. The world of NFT art and digital art is vast and ever expanding, so who knows what the future holds, but I'd love to know what you guys in the studio think. Don't forget, you can watch all our exclusive interviews unedited on our YouTube page, plus all the behind the scenes from the studio, so make sure you're subscribed. Also, make sure to follow us on our Instagram and use the hashtag DXP today to let us know what's happening in and around the city. Thank you so much for joining us. Tomorrow, we're marking World Mental Health Day by looking at the different ways we de-stress and unwind. And we leave you with this incredible performance by Dubai-based Motown singer Chinua Hawk. Have a good night. Could lay 
the sunshine, feel the breeze and know you're all mine. Not a thing would be on my mind but you. Mm. Holding your hand under the moonlight, watching shooting stars shining so bright. Not a thing is on my mind but you. Because love, love is the reason I'm in love, enjoying the season of love. Love is the reason I have changed my life. Oh, love, love is the reason I'm in love, enjoying the season of love. When you're gone, I'm waiting all night impatiently to see the sun rise. Won't be long till looking in your eyes again. Whoa, holding your hand under the moonlight, watching shooting stars shining all so bright. Not a thing. It's on my mind but you, yeah. Because love, love is the reason I'm in love. Enjoying the season of love, love. Love is the reason I have changed my life. Oh, love, oh, love is the reason I'm in love. Joy in the season of love, love, love with you. All right, Kim, will you play a little bit? Joy. 